everyone so today in this video I thought I would do this beautiful makeup tutorial with you and it is using the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk collection Charlotte Tilbury is a makeup brand that I really have loved for the longest time and recently I've been using a bunch of their products and so I thought I would do this video to show you my all-time favorite Charlotte Tilbury products what I like what I don't like about them to create this beautiful rose gold everyday makeup look that I've been doing every single day so yeah without further ado let's get started all right the first thing I'm going in with is this and this is the iconic Charlotte Tilbury magic cream and pretty much the story behind this is that Charlotte Tilbury was always on set and then basically she formulated this cream that would actually be like the perfect way to prep for makeup and I always believe that moisturizer is something that is very very important when you are doing your makeup because otherwise your skin texture doesn't convert it's actually pretty like Lightweight and goes into the skin well it doesn't feel heavy or greasy at all but you can see how it gives you like this crazy glow the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless foundation this is one of the best foundations that I have tried from the higher end spectrum and this is a really great full coverage super full coverage and semi matte finish that you will get and the only thing is that it is superiorly full coverage so if you're not if you're like into tinted moisturizer and things like that, this is not really for you. But I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. I will apply half the face so you can see the difference between them. Look at that already. I'm getting close to my eye. Look how full coverage this is. My shade is in 5.5. Crazy, right? But I don't know, I feel like I like it. <laughs> and it's like I don't have to worry about my makeup. Or I don't even have to use concealer, honestly. I don't even have a mirror right now, but I'm just guessing. Oh my gosh, guys, my face. Half of my face. With... <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Holy moly. Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Before and after. <laughs> when I go ahead and like do the rest of my makeup, for some reason, I look like a normal person. But right now I do not. <laughs> but I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> I'm just going to finish the rest of my face first. How full coverage is this foundation? This is crazy. Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is one of my favorites as well. I know that I'm like just dishing out favorites right now, but it is so good, guys. This powder is one of the best kind of pressed poreless powders I've ever tried. It literally makes you poreless. Like it's so good. Like the the fine the mill is so fine on this. I'm just I like to go in with like a small brush, and then I'll just set my under eye, and it's like the most smoothest powder ever. So it makes you extremely poreless. You see that? And of course you would go in with like some setting spray later. Look at my face. <laughs> I look so full on. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow. This shade's a medium because I only have medium. I wanted the light one as well. But anyway, um, this one comes with a contour and highlight. But the contour is a little too dark in this palette, so I won't be using it. I'm just gonna take this. And I really like it too, guys. Like, I'm not gonna lie and say, like, oh gosh, you gotta go and get this right now. But because there are so many options for contouring but I don't know why it just looks good it's like the perfect shade now I'm going in with the other side Charlotte Tilbury brow lift eyebrow pencil this is just like any other brow pencil to me like I don't feel like oh my gosh you need to go and get it either but I feel like the base product so far yes uh, it's just an ordinary brow pencil to me to me, it's just an eyebrow pencil. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going in with is blush. 
and I have a lot of their blushes already but this one I wanted to keep to the pillow talk collection so I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury cheek to chic pillow talk blush it's kind of like a rose gold shade it's not really like oh I need to go and get it and like when you first look at it because I like more brighter blushes and something like pink or peach this one's more rose gold when I first got it I didn't really like it because it was too dark but then I feel like as I wear it more and I get used to it it's actually pretty nice a little bit goes a long way oh my gosh that's too much Roseanne um, but that is kind of nice that is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk blush. Charlotte Tilbury has a lot of these luxury palettes. They normally have four eyeshadows inside it. I do have a number of, of them. I have Bella Sophia, I have Golden Goddess, I have Vintage Vamp. This one is the Pillow Talk one and it's my favorite one. Um, I also really like Bella Sophia. That one is really nice on the eyes too and sometimes I wear it every day as well. So if you are looking for a good color combination, that would be it. But guys, look at this. This is the Pillow Talk combination. It's gorgeous. We have here like a muted matte pink and then you also have a matte rosy brown. You have a rose gold shimmer and also a really nice all over lid color that's a bit more of a pearl champagne shade. So I'm gonna use this, the pink first. And I'll start in the corner of my eye and I literally do this every day. And I'm just gonna bring the color in to my socket to swing up into your socket. Now I'm gonna go in with this pearl, pearl shade, rosy pearl shade. And I'm gonna put this all over my eyelid. This one here with my pencil brush. And I'm just popping that right in the corner of my eye. And look how pretty that is in the corner of my eye. I'll just use my finger into the rose gold shimmer and then just kind of tap that in the center on my eyelid so it looks like this. That is the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. Oh, I love it so much. Like Pillow Talk lipstick looks like this and I have the Lip Cheat pencil as well, lip liner basically. Um, and it's just basically a gorgeous, kind of like a rose gold nude. I used to think that Pillow Talk was actually a kind of dusty rose nude, but actually if you look closely, it is like a rose gold nude. It's not really, everything about Pillow Talk is more rose gold rather than dusty pink, which is what I initially thought it was. I think the only thing I don't like about this pencil is that I have to sharpen it. Um, because I do have to sharpen this, but I'll do my best. Honestly, this is a pretty normal lip pencil and I do not really wear lip pencil that often. Like, if I were to do my lipstick, I just wear lipstick. So that is the Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil. Um, does it feel drying? Not really, it just feels like nothing. Um, but if I like smack like, my lips together, I do feel some resistance, if that makes sense, but it is forming to my mouth, which I like it. So I'm going to go in now with the very iconic Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick, and I'm pretty excited. It's going to be very similar to this shade, so you've already pro probably already seen what it looks like, but yes, I'm pretty excited about this lipstick because I've been using it pretty much every day, but when I first really wanted it, because it is it's really expensive, I um, tried it at the store pre-COVID. And pretty much like I saw it, I liked it, but it was kind of nude. It was very like not not really as dark as I like. So because I was so used to wearing dark lipsticks and I guess if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you guys know I like fuchsia and hot pink and things like that. So wearing this was like a nude. I'm not used to that. But then lately I've been loving it. So here we go. I'm putting that on. This is with Pillow Talk lipstick and without, just lip cheat here. And as you can see, it has this mauve ash to it, which a lot of people may not like. And
and it is definitely more rose gold than anything but it looks lovely and it's a lot darker than i thought it would be this is the pillow talk pillow talk original this is not medium or anything like that and it's actually not nude it is definitely um definitely kind of like it is definitely darker than normal and that's what i think about charlotte tilbury like if my whole perspective has changed about it like it is very intense makeup like it is not like luxury because most of the time you think about luxury makeup it's like kind of fair kind of light kind of sheer but actually like this stuff is all intense like you know how much coverage i'm wearing right now and like the powder is really good like the eyeshadow really payoff is really well paid off and the lipstick is like lovely i have a lot of other lipsticks that uh, are from Shelly tilbury too and i want to also do a video on that because i have found shades that i've been looking for all my life and these are really true opinions about the brand so i'm definitely not saying this because like they gave me stuff or whatever but i really like it i really enjoy it so that is pillow talk on me i'm gonna unclip my hair and what do you guys think about this makeup like it has been my everyday makeup for a while now and yeah so i hope you guys like this video that's that yes so yes i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys